welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Lowry is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. From their own 41-yard line, first down. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He's finally tackled at the 32. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. They give to the tailback. Big opening. Brought down at the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So our score, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Maddox takes it to 14. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 38-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He's taken down at the 41. Irons gains around three yards on that draw play. This young guy may only be a sophomore, but you aren't going to break many of his tackles. He is tough. It's third and seven. Ball on their own 41. Has some daylight. And it's the senior. Tackle made at the 47. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You gotta throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Lowry awaits the snap. Here's the... Nope, they snap into the up-back. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. First 
from the 21 yard line. First down. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's a team six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Nice play to set up first and goal. That last carry puts him over the century mark for the game. And the linemen are doing a great job of keeping the initial tacklers away and getting a good downfield push. I know that's helped him a lot today. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Maddox takes it to 12. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Play action. Now he's on the move. And he's taken down at the 37. Sometimes you'll see a quarterback try to force the ball into coverage instead of tucking it and running for the marker. That time he made the right choice to keep it. And down he goes at about the 39 yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 39. A little toss across the middle. They'll get him for a loss. Taken back three yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Lowry to punt. And this one is a beauty. From the 15. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. Well, they're off to a great start right now, but he's kind of like a boxer. This thing might go 12 runs. They might have to pace themselves a little bit. Well, you always want to be able to maintain this phenomenal start because right now it looks like it could be a blowout. But you always see in college football, momentum can change. If you have any advice from you and I down to that offensive team, it would be to be able to continue to play with that same attitude they played with earlier. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at the 35. Two players. 
Gains his way to the 43 yard line. Part of gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. And we've reached the end of one. 14, nothing. We're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Gets it. He's in space. To the 20. The 10. And he will score. the PAT. A four-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So the score now, 21-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gain by the halfback on the option. That makes it six and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball of the 29. Big opening up the middle for a nice game. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. to about the 37-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. Field for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. is waiting for the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 47. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. From their own 49 yard line, it's second down. Gonna go.
go across the middle. Caught. And he is drilled at the 44. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to about the 31. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it 77. Man left, man left. He steps out at the 27 yard line. Third down again. He gets rid of this one. the distance and he nails the long field goal they line up to kick this one away Maddox takes it at the 16 and he's taken down at the 29 yard line Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he's hit before it can go anywhere. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Quick pass. Brought down around the 49-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. That brings him second and five. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. Well, the way they played in the first half, Kirk, as they go into the locker room at halftime, I kind of think the coaches would be happy, but they'll want to keep the pedal to the metal, I'm sure. No doubt about that. In fact, I think a good opportunity for them would try to be able to score early in the second half and maybe all of a sudden kill the will of that opponent. All of a sudden, to get those backups a chance to go out there and get some valuable playing time as well. Quickly, and he's got his man, and he's level at the 16-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Taken down right around the 30. 
And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 24, nothing. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively. How about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Larkin fields it at the 13. Tackle made at the 23. You know, sometimes you see defenses play good in stretches. This has been the longest stretch I've seen one defense play in a football game in a long time. Yeah, I think the consistency is the thing that stands out. I think they got off to a great start at halftime. They made a few adjustments, and they've come out even played better, believe it or not, here in this second half. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. From their own 25-yard line, second down. made at the 35 yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled right around the 40. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike four, Mike four. Pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, And he just gets rid of it. Scoops up the loose ball. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 48. It's not like receivers don't practice hanging onto the ball all week. This is just a case of the defense creating a turnover. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. And he has it on the corner. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That makes it second and ten. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That makes it third and seven. Play fake. Wants to go long and does. 
He's hit and taken down. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. From the 19-yard line, first down. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. up a second and goal. Ball on the five. And down he goes around the five-yard line. That makes his third and goal. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 51-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 31 to nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Larkin fields it at the 13, and he's tackled at the 27. The Falcons are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for him. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. Booming kick. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Play action. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. I'm a huge fan of the play action pass in college football because for play action, it really puts a lot of pressure on defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. First and 10, ball on the 34. 
and he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. to get a little bit bigger. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. First and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. And they make the stop at the 11 yard line. And it looks like they're going to run away with this one as we head into the fourth quarter. 31, nothing. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. And he's tackled at about the nine-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the nine-yard line, second down. They get nice yardage on that run. This is the eighth play of this drive. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. This one should be makeable. This will just add insult to injury. It's up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've really played lights on defense this whole game, and they still got to just hang on here at the end. Yeah, we're here in the fourth quarter. You're right. They played as well as you can imagine defensively, but they can't let up because we still have some time left in this ball game. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Let's go, let's go. Five wide. Mike four, Mike four. Here we go. Complete. He's got room. And they push him out right around the 48-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here. It came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. scrambling they'll make the sack sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack that's what happened there that brings up third and ten.
Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Just under three to go in regulation. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 41. They bring him down in the backfield. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. They'll line up with five wide receivers. yard line it's first down he makes his way to about the 42 that makes it second and two Just a total lack of competition today. 34, nothing. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.